Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and burn Smoothwall, which is the operating system we'll be using in this first set. So first off, I'm going to do the example on a Macintosh and the next one hopefully on a Windows PC. Linux is rather universal. This is also based on a uh, sort of uh, version of Linux anyway. It's called uh, BSD. Well, I think I believe it's free BSD, but anyway. All I need is a blank CDR. This verbatim disk should do it. If you'd like, you could use a rewritable disk. That way you can use it again for something else if you so wish. So, what are we going to do? Well, first we've got to go to this mobile website, which is like so. Now, I personally prefer to use Google when doing all my uh, research, but then again, you might use Yahoo, whatever faults you bought. And this first page here should be it. No. Type 3, since that's the current version. Smoothwall, okay, so it's smoothwall.org, which is the website. And I'm going to go straight to the download page from Google. Oh, I'm going to have to pause this for a second. Sorry about that, I was downloading something off the internet and if you do it while this is running, you do, if you do this while you download something else, it can slow right down. So, I am going to download the i386 version. Now, you don't need to download 64-bit version of Smoothwall unless you have a 64-bit system. Most older computers are basically 32-bit. Uh, so, on here we're going to download the i386 version. And this is coming from my internet provider, which is Internode. And as you can see, it's going to take 8 minutes. But I'm not going to bore you with that, so I'm just going to pause it now. Okay, so I've just finished downloading Smoothwall. Now I'm going to close downloads, and as you can see, it automatically opens that. So I'm just going to close it there. I'm going to go down. And I'm going to go open downloads. There we go. And we have Smoothwall. Hmm. So I'm going to double click on it. And it seems to mount it for me, which is not what I want. Go utilities. Disk utility. Now this is default the default install of OS X. And okay, so that's how we do it. Now I'm going to take my verbatim disk and I'm gonna install it. Noisy. And I'm going to go burn. There you go. Verified data after burning, and I'm going to go burn. Now this is the first time I've actually ever had to do have ever had to use disk utility. I've usually used something called Toast. Any Macintosh users should be familiar with that application. Anyway, it's burning! Depending on how long it will take, I don't know. But it's only just a few, it's it's about 80 megabytes to download the file. So it's not a terribly big uh, operating system, which is what it is. Basically, what uh, this will do, this isn't going to, you're not going to be using this computer on any sort of regular basis. So you shouldn't really need to, uh, well, do too much. Although when you are blocking advertisements and hunting them down, you're going to want to get in there quickly, but I'll show you how to do that later. At the moment, we're just installing. Uh, sorry, burning it. Okay, it's almost finished writing in the disk, so this hasn't taken too long. I just didn't want to waste time thanks to the 10-hour limit. And it keeps going. So while that's going, I'm going to close down you. Safari, let it do its little verification thing. I'll eject that once it's finished. One thing you're going to want to get your hands on is one of these. 
This is a pen that you can use to write on CDs and DVDs. You can, you, you don't have to get a Pacific one, you can get a all sort of purpose marker. But I just like to use these. Gotta love the Mighty Mouse. Ooh. Anyway, I like the buttons. See, aren't they fun? And it's done! Burned successfully. Now, I'm going to have to find out what version of OSX is on here. Click. Click. Oh, huh. so it's smooth wall. Oh, sorry, smooth wall. Smooth. Express. Three point zero S P one. Now, just a bit of a tip, but it's always a good idea to write on your discs and also keep them in a protective proper place. Otherwise, you'll sort of screw things up. So, that's how you download, sorry, that's how you find, download, and burn Smoothwall Express. Now comes the fun part. Installation.